All right, guys, here we are breaking under quarantine. You're bored. You don't know what to do with yourself. Why not teach yourself how to break? So today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do 1990s, 2000s. Some of the first things to know about this move is you gotta make sure you have good balance, meaning like you can kind of do a handstand, like you should be able to go up and be able to hold yourself. I don't know, I would say at least for 10 seconds, you should be able to go up and hold yourself. Up. There's something called a universal move in breaking. So a lot of times you see b-boys, powerheads, you know, whatever, they're kind of doing their top rock and then they do a wind up. So here and then they kind of pull that leg out. So for me, my right leg going around, going back. And then I'm going to put my left hand down pretty much in the middle, I'd say. So bring that left hand down in the middle and then my right leg's going to swing back. Okay, so just, just the first part. You're here, you step out with the right leg, back with the left, swing it around, left hand down, right leg up. Okay, you gotta be able to get that just comfortable. So you gotta be able to go right leg out, left hand down, and swing around. You gotta be able to do this move first. So here, around, left hand down, right hand down, and then right left. So notice I swing my right leg up first, and I put my other hand down, and then the first leg that's gonna actually come back to the floor is gonna be that right leg. So, right, left. Right leg up, and right leg down, left. What we're gonna wanna do next is to get up to our hands, to get up into a handstand. So, we go here, go out, and then we gotta get up, okay? So I'll do it again, we go here, out, up. You gotta be able to swing your legs up. And what that takes is a good whoosh from your leg. You gotta get some power. Swing like swing that leg up there. Right? Utilize your legs to get yourself up into the handstand position. Then it gets even more complicated because you're gonna want to be able to Get balance. This is one of the hardest things. B-boying is, and I would say any sport or anything that has technical uh, ability to it requires um, obviously good technique. And so you want to be able to get into that position where your hands are up. But what I really try to do is get my, my hand is my spinning hand. So left hand's first, right hand second. That's going to be my hand I spin on. So it's going to go left, right, spin. Left, right, spin. Spinning on my right hand. For me, it's clockwise. Left, right, and I spin on my right. And that spinning hand wants to be directly above the top of my dome. So if there's like a that soft spot on the top of your skull, you want to get right above that. Like I want my hand to be above the soft spot, and I want to have a pretty good stiff arm. And then something B-boy Cairo, Mark, my good friend from Long Beach taught me, is for the spin, you want to pull with this other hand. Pull, it gives you rotation. Like pull. Something very, very, very important I didn't teach, which I'm gonna say right now, is you gotta use your legs. So my right leg is like my windmill kicking leg for going clockwise windmills. Um, and so because it's my right leg for kicking, it's the same leg that's gonna kick for my 90s. So when I get up, there is a little bit of a, definitely a kick and a twisting of my hips. And I'm even gonna push off with my left hand, off the ground like that, like anything I can to get myself a little more spin, I'm gonna do that. Now you can use, I've seen people use their sweatshirts to get more spin, depending on the floor you have, um, a pad, whatever. Um, I, I just like to do it barehanded. And you wanna do it, you wanna spin on the lower palm. Okay, there's not like a discreet, you have to spin on this spot, but I try to do it as close as I can to the bone. The base of the wrist is this bony landmark. You wanna kinda of go around that area, that's where I try to go. So I even turn my hand in like that, and I feel like it sort of forces me to try to spin on that part of my palm. Left, right, feet in the air, legs kick. My right leg kicks in the air. But I gotta make sure I'm balanced first. You don't kick, a lot of people kick too early and they fall over. That's a big problem. You wanna get position, hands in the air, uh, my right hand above my dome, and when my body's fully above me, then I'm gonna kick with that leg, and I'm gonna push off with the left hand, and I'm gonna pull with my left arm, and that should get me a little rotation. All right, so enough chit-chat. 
Let's give it a shot. That's the essential spin you want to get left, right, kick, and then you get that spin going. And this takes a lot of practice. You ain't going to get this, um, sorry, unless you're just like a natural born powerhead. You're not going to get this in one day. I would even say in a week, maybe you will. I'm a slow learner, so I don't, you know, I definitely didn't learn it that quick. But you got to stick with it. You got to persist. It's going to be a little frustrating. But remember, balance is key. Balance, technique, timing. Those three things, balance, technique, and timing. You get those three things down, these will be easy. Give it a shot.